Hello friends of Advanced Genetics and Contest Body. We're here now at uh, 15 weeks out from the Canadian Bodybuilding Championships in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. If you joined me last week, you'll know I actually started my diet early by two weeks, which is fine. Um, actually down seven pounds now, a full seven pounds in three weeks. The only difference between my contest prep this year and uh, last year is uh, the addition of, of F10 to my uh, regime. Um, everything else is actually very similar. In fact, I'm actually eating more protein and slightly more fats than last year and doing less cardio. So that um, shows me the, uh, the uncommon denominator between the two diets is actually the, the F10. So it's really helping out a lot. Um, I'm really proud of that product too. It's taken off a lot if you're uh, Lucky enough, you've gotten a sample. Um, if you'd like a sample, just send me an email to cjohnson at advancedgenetics.ca. Send me your mailing address, and I'll be sure to uh, send one off to you. Uh, not too much in the way of changes as far as, uh, as, far as mood. Um, my mood is still quite good. I actually don't expect my mood to start to kind of get iffy until I'm down to the uh, you know 6% body fat range. Fingers crossed. Um, energy is great. Um, for those of you who think that a zero or very low carb diet is uh, plays havoc on your brain, yeah, I'm proof it really doesn't. And there are thousands of other people who can agree with that as well. Uh, you'll notice I'm wearing sunglasses. This is my public service announcement. Uh, as the weather gets warmer uh, and you spend more time outside, you really want to protect your eyes. Um, and I trust my eyes to Maui Gym sunglasses. You can go to MauiGym.com, check them out. They're available at uh, Better Sunglass stores and optometrists um, around the globe, really. Um, and a special aloha to, uh, to Lynn from Maui Gym. So I'm going to take a couple moments here and answer a few questions uh, that I received. Um, feel free, anytime. Once again, my email is uh, cjohnson at advancedgenetics.ca or chris at contestbody.com. You can send an email to either of those if you have a question about training, nutrition, or supplementation. So the first question comes from Jordan. He says, um, he asked me, do you stay on a full keto diet for 16 weeks or do you do a cyclical keto diet and load up on the weekends? Well, actually, Jordan, I stay on the keto diet, uh, the contest body diet for a full 16 weeks. I do have one cheat meal a week. Um, this helps regulate my thyroid and also quite frankly keeps me sane. Um, usually have this on a, either a Friday or Saturday night. Uh, I try to have the same uh, try to have it the same day of the, uh, the week um, but I do give myself that leeway between Friday and Saturday um, and of course you don't go overboard. It's not a full six hour feast. It's a, a pretty well balanced protein carbohydrate fat meal and um, lasts, uh, you know, the normal time of a meal, maybe an hour. Uh, second question here comes from uh, Dimitri. He says, I was gonna buy a lot of supplements, but I'm not sure what kind. I don't wanna blow three to $400 on something that won't work. Um, if you have an opinion, I'd love to hear it. I'd rather hear from an experienced bodybuilder than someone who works at a supplement store and really doesn't care what I spend my money on. Well, Dimitri, that's a great question, and you know, uh, it's one of the reasons why I started Advanced Genetics is because there is, so, there are so many supplements out there, and a lot of them are good, but um, I'm afraid to say even more aren't. Um, so uh, basically, what I've I've put my complete supplement regime on my blog, uh, advancedgenetics.ca/blog. Just uh, look under supplements, and I believe the topic, the, the post um, name is Chris's Supplement Regime. There I outline everything that I take. And you'll notice, you know, it's not all bodybuilding supplements. Um, you know, with, with the supplement line, uh, Advanced Genetics, I have designed those products uh, to cover all the bases. So you have your GP3, your creatine, glutamine, branch chains. Uh, your F10 uh, as a fat burner drive is the energy supplement. Um, you'll read there depending on the on what uh, what I'm trying to achieve, whether it be muscle mass. You know, I'll use drive when I'm trying to lose body fat. I'll stick to the F10 and then alpha, which uh, maximizes my anabolic hormones, testosterone, growth hormone, while uh, limiting estrogen. 
But there's also a whole lot of other supplements in there that I take throughout the year. Um, and they don't really change much from off-season to contest diet. I have my omega-3s, my omega-6s, multivitamin, a joint product, uh, calcium. So check that, check out that, um, that blog and uh, I outline everything that I take in all the milligrams that I take um, for optimal health and muscle growth. There's no reason to, to, uh, to spend money um, on products you really don't need or products that overlap each other. Um, I have a question here from Jose. He says, uh, Chris, I want to buy a good protein. Protein, bro, can you, uh, can you name one? Well, um, personally, I prefer whey isolate. It's the easiest for me to digest. Um, during contest prep, uh, if you work with us at Contest Body, whey isolate is the only protein we use during contest prep. Off season, if you can handle a, a whey blend, a concentrate isolate blend, that's fine. If you like the um, yeah, protein blends, um, you can use that as well, off season. Um, but make sure it agrees with your stomach. I tend to prefer to buy uh, Canadian with most supplements just because our regulations are a little stricter. Um, so, you know, uh, the, the, uh, back to the isolates, isolates, you know, PBL makes a good one, uh, Kaizen, uh, they make a good one as well. Um, you know, there's a number of really good companies around that you can choose from. So, um, another question here, this will be actually be the last question of the day. Uh, from Vicky, she said um, she just finished competing actually, and she says that through the experience of of uh, competition, she found that most of her body fat was carried in her midsection along with uh, water. Um, she's curious about F10 and can it help to alleviate this? Well, Vicky, you know you're actually um, uh, uh, not a typical female as far as where you hold your body fat. Most women tend to hold it in their thighs, while men, on the other hand, tend to hold it in their waist and their lower back. Um, but that's not to say that there's anything wrong. Um, I actually know a lot of males that hold body fat in their legs and not so much in their midsection. So it, it, it happens. Um, really, our fat is pre, almost pre, it's determined, our number of fat cells that we have are predetermined, or are determined rather, excuse me, when we're adolescents. That's mo where most of our fat cells are, are produced. Um, and where they are deposited really depends on a number of, re a number of things, genetics, uh, usually our sex, that, uh, also determines where our fat cells are located. So you can't really, in my opinion, you can't really spot reduce uh, when it comes to trying to shrink those fat cells down. Uh, some, uh, wherever you have the most fat cells, that's going to be the last place that you're going to lose fat from. Um, so you have to keep dieting and dieting and dieting and you'll be extremely lean everywhere else and you might have that last little pocket that needs to get taken down. Um, can F10, well, can F10 help? You already know my opinion from this earlier on in, the, in this uh, video. I absolutely, F10 will help. Um, it's been shown to uh, uh, increase your metabolic, re the rest, uh, metabolic rate, your resting re metabolic rate. Um, and uh, it's actually been shown in clinical studies to help with abdominal fat, but it's going to help with the overall body fat. So you're, you've got a, a really good product in F10, it would certainly help, and uh, you'll certainly utilize this uh, if you decide to work with us uh, at Contest Body. So that pretty much uh, finishes up today's uh, uh, video blog at 15 weeks out. I look uh, forward to talking to you again next week. Uh, thanks for checking in.